Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Lost Season 1 Episode 15. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or would like to get early access to my reactions or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. So it looks like she's still pregnant. Wake up now. Hey. It's okay. Claire. You're safe. Who are you? She doesn't know who they are. Who are you? I don't remember any of you. I don't remember any of these. What do you remember? I I was on a plane. Um, flying to L.A. from Sydney. Claire. We were all on that plane. They crashed here. That was almost a month ago. No. I'm, I'm Your baby's fine. He's kicking. Everything's normal. Take it on. Hmm. That was a weird exchange. It's like he was see trying to catch you were right beside me, Boone. You and see if she right. could understand their Where English we were out or what. Deep. Nothing. I don't know. It almost seemed like it was a trap of some sort. She didn't say anything at all about Ethan. Apparently, she doesn't even remember Ethan. You think he's around? I sure hope not. Claire. Stop being creepy, John. Who is he, Ethan? I don't know. Ethan. Ethan's the bad guy. I'm a man of high moral standing. Your obvious plan to take me home and ravage me will not work. Are we that obvious? Dreadfully. Times have you diagnosed actual amnesia, such a selective brand of it. Okay, it's rare, but she's been through a major trauma. It is possible that her memory reset to the crash. Oh, she could have been like brainwashed and maybe she's a bad person now. I feel like somebody's swinging something. Oh god, someone gonna get hit by a rock. Like that. Oh boy. Charlie, I want her back. What did you do? You bring her here. If you don't, I'm going to kill one of them. And then if you don't bring her back before sundown tomorrow, I'll kill another. I'll kill you last. Hey, so Ethan didn't let her go. Man threatens to kill one of us unless we bring him Claire and what? We just wait for that to happen? We circle the wagons. Tell a select few about the threat. We post him as sentries here and back at the caves. Tell a select few? He does what he says he's going to do, and that blood's on our hands. I don't know. This is a hard, hard you choice. Tell everyone. But everybody you should know. Them, you need to start thinking defense. We move everybody off the beach back up into the caves. What if he delivered his threat so that we would gather like sheep to the slaughter in a confined space where they can roll in and take us all in one fell swoop? I don't know if I entirely trust John. You sure there's nothing going on? Absolutely. There are four nine millimeters in Marshall's case. Uh-uh. No. I hand them out. Someone hears something out in the jungle, gets scared. Chances of us shooting each other are much higher than of us shooting him. We're beyond sharpening. It's true. I'm not putting but you need protection. But how did she get away from Ethan, though? If he didn't let her go, how did she get away from him? Yet she doesn't remember them. Well, Charlie, I think my lovely daughter. I don't get it. Unless this is all some sort of test, like for once Claire. Myself. To prove oh. she's with them now or something. The I don't know. I don't know. Ouch. Dreadful, huh? The fact of the matter is, sir, I think that drive shaft might be dead. Selling copies. You took a job selling copies. I like her. She's a moose. Don't say that. Are you the bleeding chump, man? I have to think about my future. Your future? Yeah. Today's Friday, innit? For a weekend without a fix, Monday should be bloody wonderful. Let's see how the future treats you then, eh, Charlie? Stay awake while you are on duty. Vincent! 
Uh oh, he's dead. Oh, Steve. Dude, that was Scott. Oh, Scott. Oh, not that I really knew them. I, I I know who we've heard of them at least twice. Scott and Steve. And everybody's looking at Claire like, girl's gonna get us killed. It's kind of sad. It's not her fault. Hi. Um. Why is everyone staring at me? You mean nobody's told you? Told me what? Why did you lie to me? Okay, lie. Yeah, what else didn't you tell me? Why would you keep me in the dark, Charlie? I'm already in the dark. I just wanted to take care of you. I can take care of myself. You okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit nervous. Don't be. Dad's put the fix in. He's already demanded they buy two copiers to boost your confidence. Uh. This is just some men who want to buy a silly copy machine. You're gonna do great. I told you that I had a way to get the advantage back. Then I would ask what way might that be, Jack? Oh, guns. He's more open to the guns now. Yeah, but how does this give you the advantage back, considering you didn't even see this happen? You didn't even know. My doctor, you've been holding out on us. The only way to do that is by giving him what he wants. You have no idea. Yeah, it's what he's use her as bait. They want to use you as bait. But if I can help stop him from hurting anyone else, I have to do that. No problem, Miss Billy. Something in here. Oh no, he's gonna be sick. We have four guns. We should have four men. Get Kate. Kate can shoot a gun. I know at least one polar bear seems to think so. Where'd you get the hardware, Hoss? But if the lady wants to come. Oh, oh yeah, the other gun that he had in the beginning. Yeah, I remember you shot him and missed. He wanted it. Yeah. Well, well technically, he didn't no. miss. Five guns are better than four. God, I hope they get this Ethan guy. I'm not counting on it. I think it's too early to take out the bad guy. But I hope they do. I'm nervous something bad's gonna happen to Claire. I'm nervous that Claire's gonna do something bad to them. I'm nervous that one of them is gonna die. Or any of them are gonna die. I hope Charlie's the one to take him out, though. If they If they do take him out, I hope Charlie's the one that does it. Do they really think he doesn't know they're there? I mean, he seems to know everything. I don't think anybody's expecting Charlie, but I think Charlie's going to be there somehow. Come on, guys. Don't hurt Claire, though, in the process. Oh, you lost your gun. Come on, Jack. Don't let him kick your ass again like last time. Whatever they do, if they, they should not keep this guy captive. I'm gonna say that. Because he will get loose. I'm pretty much guaranteed that. Now maybe somebody can tell me who or what this son of a bitch is. Tie him up. Oh, oh, jungle boy. Not even for one second. Who the fuck just that? Oh, Charlie. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. I said it, I thought Charlie should be the one to take him out. But they were going to try and get... Thing, they weren't going to get anything out of him anyway. He could have told us where he came from. What he wanted with Claire. Why he even you really think he would have told us anything, Jack? He wouldn't have said anything. I get why you pretended to like me. I understand why you stole. Because you're a junkie. But I don't understand why you took the job. I wanted you to think that I could take care of you. You'll never take care of anyone. I remember peanut butter. Oh. 
imaginary peanut butter. Actually. I want to trust you. All right, guys. So that is the end of episode 15 of season one of Lost. And um, there, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. Um, I really, really enjoyed this episode, though. I liked it a whole lot. Um, we have Claire back. She doesn't have any memories. Um, the last memory she has is of the plane being on the plane. She doesn't even remember the crash, just being on the plane. Um, there was uh, Ethan. He tracked down Charlie and uh, told him that he wanted him to bring Claire to him. Um, otherwise, he was going to kill every somebody every day until he did. And luckily, Charlie didn't... Um, like, keep this to himself. He, like, immediately went to the group, told them um, they had difference of opinions on how to handle it. One wanted to get every single person together in a group. Um, John didn't think that was a good idea because he could take them all out at once. Where they did do that, which I, I can see. I understand that. But I also didn't, didn't get keeping everyone separated and just having people patrol because he could slip through all that. And he did. He slipped through it. He killed somebody. He killed the... Uh, Scott? Was it Scott? I, I don't know. There was Scott and Steve. I think he killed Scott. Um, he broke his neck and apparently broke a lot of bones in his body. So that's that's uh sad. And um so the second night they decided to use um Claire as bait. Um Jack relented and decided to use the guns that Kate has suggested that they used earlier and he rejected um so he gave guns to Saeed and um John he had one and then he gave the fourth one to Sawyer um and then Sawyer gave Kate the gun that he had like in the first couple episodes um that didn't have any bullets so he used it to shoot the marshal <laughs> Jack said he missed, but he didn't. He just didn't give him the fatal shot. Um, so, yeah. So, Kate also had a gun. And it worked. Ethan came out. Jack got a hold of him. Beat the crap out of him. Uh, he lost his gun in the process. But Jack was able to subdue him. And it went a little overboard. I think he was trying to get a little bit of revenge, um, to be honest, on getting his butt kicked by Ethan. Um in a previous episode and they were getting ready to interrogate him and find out where he came from, who he is and why they want Claire and all this stuff. And then like somebody just shot him like multiple times out of nowhere. And, um, it was Charlie. He picked up Jack's gun and shot him. And I had said that if they take Ethan out, that it should be Charlie because of what Ethan did to him. And, um, it was, Charlie did it. And I'm on Charlie's side. I don't think Ethan would have told them diddly squat. And I don't think that it would have been good to keep him prisoner because I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that Ethan would have found a way to get loose and, uh, either kill more people or take Claire or both. And, um, so yeah, so I'm on Charlie's side. I'm glad Ethan's gone. I'm glad Charlie's the one that did it. And I was kind of scared that seeing Charlie take Ethan out like that was going to scare Claire. Like she's going to think that he's not a good person or whatever, but it didn't seem to do that at all. It seemed, she seemed to actually warm up to him a little bit more. And, um, she's got one of her little memories back of peanut butter when her and Charlie shared a, an imaginary jar of peanut butter. So, I don't know. I'm still a little iffy on the whole her getting away from Ethan in the first place. I just, I don't see how she did it. I mean, I, I could see maybe this happening if she remembered the group and, you know, she knew where she was going. But she doesn't even remember them. So where does she think, if she did get away, where does she think she was going to? So I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused 
about that, but I'm sure we'll get some kind of explanation at some point. I don't know. But anyway, I really, really enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.